welcome, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is just a quick video because I am out on a milk run, another one. This is not an emergency one, this is just a regular milk run. And I also have a camera on the outside and I'm a bit terrified I'm going to lose it so I've, I can see it on my phone um, and it's on the, on the door. So it's probably going to fall off. But anyway, um, welcome back. Thank you to everybody who's hit like, subscribe, commented. I really appreciate it. I have not been great at posting videos recently but i'm hoping that's going to get better i've tried to make it more regular i apologize for the last video where i was wearing a christmas santa hat but that i blame my wife for that and i have now found my flat cap so everything is great i've just been into my boxster and the mold not mold yeah it is mold my phone's just fallen down um is out of control it's fluffy it's it's green it's it's awful it's like mushrooms the the seat belts are awful i i don't know what to do about it so i'm just going to go out and buy a cover a breathable waterproof cover i don't know how that works but then i'm going to put um put that over the top open the windows i don't know how i'm going to do that because the battery's completely and utterly dead and i can't get to the front but i can get to the front to take the battery out which i'll have to put it on charge so that'll be interesting how that happens um as much as i thought that i would keep an eye on the camera being on the outside my phone which was propped up has just fallen down into the footwell so i'll need to go and grab that in a second when we stop at the junction the camera's probably fallen off already and i can't afford to lose that but anyway, I'm not speaking of car affordable, I'll have to put the, the car cover on my credit card. And that, it pains me to think that that's what's happening to the Boxster, but it's not irrecoverable. I can fix those things. The thing that I need to concentrate now is on making some more videos, creating more content in terms of doing more stuff. So I need to fix that Boxster. I did find some super cheap Brembo discs and pads on eBay where they were being sold by GSF. So German, Swedish, French, uh, German, Swedish, French, which is a bit like Eurocar parts. It's a reptile place where you can go and get fairly cheap OEM style parts. But there was an issue with that. So I went to hit to send them a message and when I clicked to send that message, it said, this is not the seller of this item. So then I looked a bit clo more closely. So GSF, you know, they've got hundreds of thousands of um, reviews, hundreds of thousands of reviews on eBay. But when I looked and it says, oh no, you need to look again. Is it this? I keep looking in the mirror because I think the camera's fallen off. But you need to look at this one which is also called GSF, and they've got a couple of hundred reviews, and as buyers, not as sellers, and then you're starting to think, hang on, how is this possible that someone's put something on, but they've said that they're somebody else? How is that possible? When you hit go to hit buy, you're buying it off somebody else, not the seller that's advertised it, and if you go and hit message them, it says, oh, this is not the person selling this item. It's got nothing to do with them. So I don't know what that means. So I'm just gonna call up GSF. Because they were so unbelievably cheap. 87 pounds, discs and pads, Brembo. Rear, Boxster, 2.7. So I'm gonna to have to find some money and just go and buy the full price ones. The car, this car is driving much better because I noticed just now that the tire pressure was so low. And remember in the last video I said, oh, it's awful. There's something not quite right. The suspension's off, it's broken. It doesn't drive properly. So um, that is no longer an issue because it transformed it. The front driver's side tire and the passenger rear tire were on 20 something PSI. So I've put those back up to, I think it's 38. And apart from the crazy bot, I need to retrieve my phone. I'm gonna have to pull over somewhere. But it just feels, it accelerates smooth. Um, so it's almost like the engine sounds better, but it's not. It's just, I'm not clanging over everything, um, which is a relief. But at the same time, I've still gotta get those back tires. So, you know, um, I mean, they're still legal, but, and I don't do the miles for them to be, have become illegal since I did my MOT last month because I've barely done any miles since then. But it, 
does need to be done because my wife now drives the car. So that needs to happen. But anyway, very quickly, I wanted to talk about my garage. So as you know, the last time out, or a couple of videos ago, I said that I'd reached out to the company that did the design for us and got the planning permission for us. And, and I said, look, what's the next step? And they talked me through it. Um, and it's really difficult to get hold of any type of builder, any type of tradesperson, which is why I'm doing all the renovations myself. But, so I've, I've looked at the plot. I mean, the plot, because I don't think you guys have seen it, is you come into the driveway and it's a real steep down. And I think I've said this before, where when you come in, if you've got a car with parking sensors, the parking sensors go off because it's detecting the ground. Hang on, let's go. Oh. Beans. Speed limit already. Please let the camera still be on there because we're doing 70. But the car sounds good. I don't think I've checked the oil in about eight months or the coolant. And I've realized I've just gone from fourth to sixth. I do that all the time. I'm sure everybody does that. But anyway, because you push it a bit harder in fourth and then you think, well, there's no need to go to fifth, I might as well just go to sixth. Anyway, so contacted the builder who'd done all the design and everything for us. So he said, well, next you need an architect. So we've got to do that bit. Then we've got to decide on what the flooring is going to be, screed or whatever it is, block paving on the driveway. There's going to be still be a bit of a slope, but our driveway at the moment, you come in, and like I said, the sensors detect the the floor because it's so steep. Then you come in. That's where I park. I have to turn around and park just as the Porsche is in the in that video. And if you look to the right, the box stays parked there. It's very narrow there. You could park two cars there, but then you can't turn around. So really, it's a two-car driveway. When just in terms of space, you could probably fit five, fit five there. And then there's um, a veg patch. And the veg patch is just overgrown, it's dead. Uh, I don't grow a veg. And then you come down some steps, you're into the garden, then there's an overgrown section, and then there's a bit where the previous owners had stacked it up with a load of rubbish, which I use Pongo to clear. And that's where the garage is gonna go, facing up the driveway. So I'm, I just need to get to the next level, which is, hey, this is what the cost is of the architect, this is what, uh, the cost is of building the garage in its entirety and making the doing the block paving all of that and then and this is how long it's going to take and this is when we can start I guess I just need to get to that and then be able to assess hey can I afford it when should I do it that kind of stuff I should have turned left there and there's nowhere now to turn around anyway that's where I am and I would really like to do that but the, but the boxer thing I just I'm, I'm wavering between topic, topics, I'm really sorry. But the Boxster thing, I just need to get to a point where it's dry. I need to buy the parts. CV boots, discs, pads, brake sensor, brake pad sensor, and the front strut thing. Jack's even offered to come and fix, fix it on my driveway so I can just take it straight down to the MOT station. So I want to do that, but I think the first thing the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contact Jack and say, Jack, can I come and work? Can I do a day for Flasics Jack? Wrenching. And just to see what kind of stuff he does, whether I'm any good at wrenching. I'm not bad at wrenching, actually. I have done stuff before. So I just need to work that out. Oh my God, I've just pulled over somewhere where I can go and retrieve my phone and my camera but that's about it really um and i think and I, and I guess this video is garage update boxer update and 911 update but none of it's i can't you know a lot of people have said to me you need to be more clickbaity on the title on the on the screen grab or photo uh that comes a but i'm not sure i want to be clickbaity but then that just means I'm not going to grow. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting like, subscribe, and commenting, and I'll catch you on the next video, which should be in the next couple of days. Thank you.